Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist on the Channel Mum YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about my birthing story and how it all went down. So I was induced early but up until 38 weeks I had a smooth pregnancy and was planning on a wasp birth with pretty much nothing apart from gas and air. I didn't want epidural, I didn't want any pain relief apart from simple gas and air. I thought strong enough to do it without so you're going to do it without. Up until I found out I was going to be induced, I wasn't nervous about giving birth at all. I don't know why, I was kind of, every day I was sitting there thinking, right, today it's going to hit me that I'm going to give birth soon. Today it's going to hit me that I'm going to give birth soon. And it just never did until I was told I was going to be induced. That's when it really, really frightened me. And obviously, to be giving birth that day I was two weeks it was still two weeks before Isla's due date and I'd convinced myself that I was going to go over and that she'd be a late baby so I hadn't, I hadn't had my nails done I hadn't shaved I hadn't done my hair I literally went into the hospital that day at 11 in the morning fresh out of bed so I think that was that really upset me because I wasn't I didn't feel like I'd got myself ready for birth I know it sounds really silly but I really wanted to be in the labour room looking like a superstar <laughs> which now obviously I realise after obviously having Isla that it just when you're in labour it doesn't concern you whatsoever what you look like so I never got the experience of my waters popping naturally I had them popped for me which I think is the biggest thing that I missed out on in the whole of it all being induced is because I didn't get to be at home when my waters popped I didn't get that excitement that rush of adrenaline when you're like okay this is me starting to go into labour, we need to go to the hospital, we need to get there quick. I never got any of that and that really, that did upset me a little bit. I remember the moment when I realised that I was actually about to have a baby and that I was about to meet my baby was when the midwife told me that it was time to push and the, the rush of emotions that hit you is just, it's overwhelming because you've been waiting for this day for nine months, nine long, tiring, exhausting months and all of a sudden you're actually about to meet this person and it just is so scary because it just odd oh, I can't even put it into words but I remember being like to the midwife oh my god I'm gonna meet my baby I've been waiting for this day for so so long and all the things I was thinking about I was thinking what's she gonna look like what kind of person is she gonna be and within 10 minutes of thinking this whilst pushing she was in my arms and the most the best feeling for me was when she started crying and I know that sounds really bad but it's when you know that they're okay because my worry was that she wasn't going to cry and that there'd be something wrong with her and they'd have to take her away from me obviously because I was induced early they thought there might have been um, complications with my placenta and the cord around her neck so hearing her cry and knowing that she was okay was the most amazing part of it all and so after I gave birth, I remember because I was I hadn't I had the hormone drip and an epidural, I wasn't allowed to eat. So I hadn't eaten for about twelve hours. And I remember the first thing, once I knew that Isla was okay and once we'd had skin to skin and she was all dressed and my mum and Tom were having a hold, the first thing that popped into my head was cheeseburger and chicken nuggets. <laughs> and I rang my dad and I was like, Dad, I've had the baby, she's amazing, can you come and see her? But can you also bring me a cheeseburger and some chicken nuggets? So that's my birthing story. Here at Channel Mum, we would love to know your birthing story. So leave any below and help support other mums.